Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Swagman XC2 two bike rack here on our 2021 Kia K5. So the Swagman XC2 is great when it comes to portability, being lightweight, being class one hitch compatible, as well as being really affordable. If you don't want to be paying extra for bells and whistles that you're not interested in, this might be the bike rack for you. So first we'll take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. So we have two wheel hoops. Now we do not have wheel straps, they're just hoops that are holding the bike wheels or the tires in. And then what's really stabilizing it in the upright position are these frame hooks. So these hooks go up and they go down as well. As long as you press that lever just to get them in place, they ratchet down to secure your bike's frame. So if you do have, let's say, alternate frame bikes like step-through bikes or women's bikes or children's bikes, depending on how low your frame is, you may need to get a frame adapter bar. But when you want to take your bike off, you start at that frame hook. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to lift this up just to get myself some clearance. There we go. It may be a tight fit depending on how much you have it connected to the second one. Then we'll get this one too. And while I can take all my frame hooks off, here on our K5, we actually have pretty good clearance with our pedals. So all I need to do is just tilt it back and then I'll bring it over. There we go, just like that. And then we're ready to go on a bike ride. So let's sit this bike to the side so that we can take a closer look right over here at our frame hooks so it, or our wheel hoops. There we go. So these wheel hoops, as long as you turn these knobs, these can be adjusted back and forth to accommodate different wheel bases. The maximum tire width this can accommodate is 2.5. If you have a fat bike tire, this might not be the best fit for you, but this will fit most of your tire widths. Now you also have these frame hooks. So like I said, they ratchet down to secure your bike's frame. It's very simple. There aren't that many features here that you're going to have to worry about. There's no tilt away. There's not really a fold up, but you can make it com compact for when you want to store it. So first, we'll take a look at how much length is added to the, ba to the back of our Kia K5. So measuring from our bumper, right underneath here, that's the furthest point of our bumper behind our license plate, and it's gonna be over here to this wheel hoop. So here it only sits at 19 and three quarter inches away from your car. So you can see how compact as well as how, how small this bike rack is. That's going to be helpful, let's say if you're in an urban environment or if you really need to save up on space inside of your garage, you might be considering a compact bike rack like this. We'll also take a look at ground clearance. Ground clearance is going to be underneath our bike rack, kind of at the lowest point. So it's going to be 12 and a half inches. Our wheel hoops sit a little bit higher up at 15 and a half inches. And then our shank, which is underneath our hitch receiver, is only nine inches. So the hitch receiver on the Kia K5 is kind of low to the ground, especially when you compare it to taller SUVs or trucks. That means whenever you go up steep inclines like your driveways or your hills, you'll want to be conscious of whatever's behind your vehicle. So you can see how this has a slight shank rise so that you won't be as worried about those inclines and then you'll be, um, your bikes will be sitting a little bit higher off the ground. Now we'll take a look at another feature of this, which is you can fold it up just to be a little bit more compact. Remember, if you do want to access your trunk, you can do so by taking your bike off and then you can even fold this up to put inside your trunk. So to do so, you just push these pins out just like that. There will be one pin right there. And then here's our second pin. Let's push that out. And then we'll bring this up. Now, if your wheel hoops are loose, they may fall down. So just be careful with that so you don't pinch your fingers. And then push this in through that leg. There we go. And then get the second one. So you got your pin and push that through. 
but it's nice, it's quick, it's a simple design, and you can see here how compact it is. You can even store it inside of your trunk when you're not exactly prepared to go out for a bike ride. Um, and then when you are, you just take it off and you're ready to go. So with it folded up like this, we'll take a look at the closest point it gets to our car. Measuring from our bumper to our wheel hoop, we have six inches of distance, so plenty of clearance there. This does stick up a little bit high up there, so you will see this out of your rear view mirror and your or your rear windshield. And then you do have your backup camera right over here. So if you are worried about being able to see through your backup camera, you can just put this in put this down in the mounting position and you'll be okay. Now your license plate will be covered with it folded up like this as well as when you have your bike on there. Now as we're down here let's talk about how this fits into your hitch. So the Kia K5 can usually get a class 1 compatible hitch so that means you have to get class 1 compatible bike racks and accessories as well. Lightweight bike racks are important for your vehicle. So since this is super lightweight, it fits right into your inch and a quarter hitch receiver because it has an inch and a quarter shape. It also comes with an anti-rattle bolt and a clip. You can use a tool provided to tighten that down, but I personally recommend doing what I do is I use a socket wrench with a three quarter socket that makes it so much easier to tighten that bike rack down. And once that's in place, it kind of creates an anti-rattle effect We'll shake it by the shank, and you can see here how we have very minimal movement between our shank and our hitch receiver. Most of the movement is coming here from the wheel hoops because I haven't tightened those down yet, but it's nice to see that it does not add extra rattle from an improper fit. So with a 35 pound weight capacity being super lightweight, as well as being able to accommodate most of your regular size bikes, my personal thoughts about the Swagman XC2 is if you're just looking for something minimal, something affordable, as well as if you don't have much space inside of your garage or your house for a bike rack, this might be a good option for you. If you're looking for, let's say, more weight capacity, maybe the Swagman Schnook will help you out with a 45 pound weight capacity, still class one compatible. If you want even more features, even the Kuat Transfer V2 or the Inno Tire Hold will give you that tilt away as well as those cool tire hold features compared to a frame hook. All in all, if you want something simple, this will work out for your Kia K5. So that was a look at your Swagman XC2 here on your 2021 Kia K5. My name is Evangeline and I hope this helped you out. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.